Hey, welcome back Jez Beer Reviews. Today it's a Pyro Life beer. It's the Acai and Passion Fruit. It's a sour. So this beer is a 3.5% ABV, 355 mils in this can. Um, they use Enigma Hop and they use Pale and Wheat Malt, I believe, for the malt bill. Okay, so I think I paid about uh, $11 for a four pack on special Dan Murphy's. Um, there's much else I can tell you, but yeah, let's crack it open. The acai uh, berry is a super food, I found out. Um, very nutritious, grows in South America. And uh, yeah, never heard of it really. Okay, so don't be shocked. This beer does have a different color. Okay. It's got, uh, it's probably what I call like a, it's got like a cider appearance to the beer or wine cooler. Um, ciders are flavoured with strawberry and all that seem to give this appearance. So it's a almost um, a light rose appearance, the colour, if I would say that in the channel. But And you've got one thing of head. Already I can smell the fruit. Uh, really strong passion fruit, of course. It's pretty dominant. Really passion fruit. It's like a fresh passion fruit that you're cut in half and sucking it in. So they're really, um, yeah, she's not short in the passion fruit. And I believe they add that pretty late too, um, to to the brew with the acai uh, berries. Um, so I don't, never really had them. So it's more the passion fruit that's standing out. All right, let's get into it. Cheers. Okay, so it's really the, the passion fruit flavor coming through in the taste. Um, you, you get that originally. The mouthful to the beer is uh, somewhat watery. It is 3.5%. And then you get the soundness at the end with the drying sensation and the puckering. Okay, sick it up. Hash fruit, but soundness is kicking in sooner for me now. It's um, pretty quick. Uh, actual Enigma hops, and not getting real a lot of bitter. It's more the sound, the fruits that are dominating the beer, as you would imagine. Uh, yeah, it is drinkable. Might be sometimes of a. Um, a cider. That's when I first had it. The tartness you get in ciders, and uh, it reminds me of something like those Copperberg mixtures that you can buy. It has that tartness to it. Um, yeah, it's not a beer that I drink regularly, but it was uh, eleven dollars for a four pack, and, and that was a reasonable price to try. Three point five cent. Um, yeah, I think uh, it's not overly sour. It, it's sour, but it's nothing that you. It's very, uh, very drinkable. You can probably have one or two of these, no dramas. The body is a bit different in the beer. The different kind of beer, so the body is probably... Uh, it's not like... It's a bit different to a good pale or a good um, good lager. Yeah, so, like, yeah. Got sessionability, one or two, maybe. Yasai berries, I don't really know the taste, but I'm, I get the passion fruit and the tartness. So anyway, yeah, it's funny how actually putting bacteria into beer, we, um, when you home brew, it's like, you know, you, oh, it's super clean, you get paranoid about anything that gets near it, you home brew, but um, it actually add good bacteria to the beer to give this soundness effect, times we live in. I know they've done that in Belgium with their beers and naturally uh, sour but yeah just hmm anyway so um the pirate life asahi passion fruit for a mid-strength sour beer i'd give it a solid b uh, there's nothing i can really quite drinkable um 
you'll probably do a bit more sweetness, but if there's a higher ABV beer, you probably get a bit more sweetness um, to blend out that sourness, the tartness in the beer. Anyway, a B for Asahi, passion fruit, sour beer. A fruit sour. Right, thanks for watching the episode. Jez Previews. As always, take care. See you later.